Welcome to part two in our series on subtractive color. In our last video, we established a working understanding of what people mean by subtractive color. Today, we're gonna to be looking at some additive versus subtractive color theory. So what's the difference? Let's start with additive color. I want you to imagine that we're in a pitch black room with three flashlights. The first flashlight is red, the second is green, and the third is blue. If we point these at the wall separately, we'll see their colors individually. But as they start to overlap, we'll start to notice the interactions between the lights as they add together. And when all three beams overlap, we get white. This is additive color, and this is how LED screens work. If you zoom in really close to your screen, you'll see that it's made up of small red, green, and blue light sources that, depending on their intensity, generate this image that you're looking at. Now, subtractive color works in the opposite direction. I find it easiest to think of how printers work. So in most printers, you have cyan, magenta, and yellow ink. As you begin to mix these colors on a page, you can get many variations. But in theory, if you mix them all together, you'll get black. Now, most printers also have black ink because it's much more efficient than mixing colors together every time. But you see that in subtractive color, the more color that's introduced, the darker that color gets. So how does this apply to filmmaking and photography? Well, this helps us demystify things a lot. When someone says subtractive color, all that they're saying is they simply want as we introduce more colorfulness for the image to get darker, or at least not brighter. If you wanna download these experiments that I put together just to play around with them for yourselves, you can find the resource link in the description. I've been testing out alternatives to Photoshop, so this is from the open source alternative Krita. In the next video, we'll talk about how to accomplish this in DaVinci Resolve, as well as review a plugin that you can get for free. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss that content. And hey, hitting the like button helps this video reach more people. Let me know your thoughts and questions down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.